I was left behind to finish cleaning after school. Well, it was my own fault for forgetting my homework. I wanted to finish quickly so I could go home and play games. Ugh, it's pouring outside. It was raining buckets. My mood went down with it. Today has been the worst day ever. The rain showed no signs of letting up. And perhaps thanks to that, nobody else was around. I made my way home on the usual route. Home always seems so far away when it rains, I muttered to myself, but then I suddenly stopped in my tracks. Hmm? What's that? What did I see? A woman walking in the distance. In this rain? Is that a woman? But something was strange. I could very clearly see that, even from a distance. The woman wasn't holding an umbrella in all this rain. Why doesn't she have an umbrella in all this rain? Drenched, she looked at the ground as she approached me. The woman appeared to be holding something in her left hand. How creepy. I thought, watching the woman. Zzz, zzz. I could hear something. Zzz, zzz. The noise got louder as the woman got closer. Is she dragging something? I looked closer, but it was difficult to see in the rain. The woman got closer. Should I run? But I was intrigued. I stood still and waited for her to pass by me. Zuzu. Zuzu. The noise got louder. Then, I saw it. I really shouldn't have. The thing in her left hand, was that? No, no way. I was shocked. She was dragging a person. No way. Is that a person? I stood frozen at the unbelievable sight before me. I quickly regretted it. That was not something I should have seen just because I was curious. I've got to get out of here. I've got to get out of here. But I was so scared that my feet refused to move. Zzz. Zzz. Then... Right when she passed by me, I saw it. Her face. What on earth was I seeing? Those eyes were no longer human. They were the eyes of a monster. Her eyes turned upwards, and her mouth was cut. What the hell? She's not human! I couldn't believe it. I'd never even heard stories about someone like this. I was confused at what I saw before me. That monster stopped beside me. Then, our eyes met. Run. 
I ran as fast as I could. I tossed my umbrella aside and ran with all my might. Next up, the news. The parents of a young boy from elementary school reported that their son didn't return home from school yesterday, and a search is currently underway. They found his umbrella on the road home, as well as marks that looked like something had been dragged along the road. Police fear the boy may have been hit by a car and are investigating further. Hikiko-san is a leading Japanese urban legend that has even been turned into a movie. This woman drags something behind her constantly, which is how she got the name Hikiko-san. The story alone is scary, but the reason for Hikiko-san's birth has a terrible history behind it, and it's likely that some out there have experienced something similar themselves. These are the records that give the reason for her birth. Her real name is Mori Hikiko. She was a hikikomori, a shut-in, because of bullying. When she went to school, bullies would grab her ankles and drag her down the hall. Yet her parents refused to help her, and her abuse even continued at their own hands. Yet she still refused to go to school and locked herself in her room. Yet at some point, she started to leave when it rained outside. Perhaps because of her grudge towards being bullied or perhaps to attack children. She grabs their feet and drags them around forever until she finds her next victim. The legend of Hikiko-san became popular because of how real it is. There are several ways you can deal with her. She may be cruel and violent, but she doesn't attack children who have been bullied or children who share her name. Her actual name is unknown. She can't stand the sight of her own face, so if you show her a mirror, she will retreat. If she asks you, is my face hideous? You can reply with, I'll drag you, I'll drag you, and she'll run away. However, these are only rumours, so they may not be reliable. I recently married my long-term and beloved boyfriend. And today, on the anniversary of our wedding, the two of us bought a house. Well, all we could afford was an old house, but still. The scenery and surroundings are great. And the price was cheap, so we're satisfied. Our new life begins today. I'm so excited. Moving day. My husband and I packed up all our things. Honestly, it's a bit annoying, but moving still has its charms. Phew, we're mostly done. Yeah, shall we take a break? I'll go get us something to drink. Thanks, I'll have some soda. Gotcha. My husband went to get his wallet from the drawer. Hey, can you come here for a minute? He called out to me from the hall. Thinking he might have forgotten something, I went to see him. What's wrong? Did you forget something? What do you think that is? I looked towards what he was pointing at. A red crayon. Why was it here? What's that? A crayon? It was a well-used red crayon. Maybe we dropped it while we were working. But neither of us had crayons. We didn't have any kids. Thinking it might have belonged to the previous owners, I picked it up without care and tossed it in the trash. I spent today cleaning the house as well. I worked here while my husband went to work. Things were going well. Maybe I can put it here. 
I was close to finishing and made my way towards the front door with some empty boxes. Hmm? Something caught my eye. A red crayon. I threw this out yesterday, right? I grabbed it to confirm. I threw this out yesterday, right? Yeah, it was the same red crayon I threw out the day before. And it was lying in the same place again. How creepy. This time I put it in my pocket instead. I'm home. My husband returned from work. I went to the door to greet him. Welcome back. My face went pale. A red crayon. This was a joke, right? I fell backwards. Hey, are you okay? Why? Why? I took the crayon out of my pocket. Is that...? They're not returning after throwing them away. They're multiplying. Silence filled the room. It really is creepy. They're both the same shape and everything. They were. The crayon I'd picked up while cleaning was the same shape and size. It was too unnatural to be a coincidence. I couldn't believe it. Let's check where we found it. My husband said, and got down to check the area where we found the crayon. A short while later, he screamed. Hey, come check this out. He seemed to have found something, so I rushed over right away. Does this seem suspicious to you? What did he think was suspicious? The wall beneath the stairs. The crayon was on the floor in front of it. I tried hitting it. Bang bang. It did sound strange. I was hitting the wall, yet it sounded like empty space behind it. After debating what to do, we decided to break through the wall. As long as it would get rid of that seed of doubt, we didn't care. I prayed nothing would be there. My husband grabbed a crowbar from the shed. A hammer probably would have been better. Well, here I go. I silently nodded, and in response, he raised the crowbar. The wall gave way. There was clearly an open space behind it. He continued with a few more strikes. We could see it. As a small hole opened in the wall, we could see the open space behind it. When we realised that, the both of us started hitting and kicking the wall. Finally, it was big enough for a person to fit through. I'm going in. My husband said and went in. Sorry, could you bring me the torch? It's too dark to see anything. I went and grabbed the torch and followed him in. It was big enough to fit two children. It was too dark to see. Turn the torch on. I was at a loss for words. The walls and floor 
were entirely covered in red letters. Father, mother, I'm sorry, let me out. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, father, mother, let me out. Let me out, I'm sorry, let me out. Red crayons lay on the floor. This urban legend spread after a famous talent spoke about it on the radio. The primary factors behind it are the mysteries hidden in cheap houses, the problem of child abuse in society, and its vague believability. Variations exist where the crayon is either blue or green as well. <laughs>